so there are four parts to a kipping handstand push up. Now, number one, you've got to have the confidence to be able to kick upside down under any circumstances. So, from there, what you'll notice, and I'm only using this spot because someone has done these with lots of chalk and you can kind of see where their hands are. So, the ab mat should be two to three inches off of the wall, and then when you kick up to do your handstand hold, Make sure your hands are in the same spot we just had them when it came to the box. So the center of my palms are in line with the front of the ab mat. Now step number one is that you need to put your head on the mat. So step one of four, head to mat. Step number two, you put your bum on the wall so that you can't really go anywhere else. You're not going to fall off. Step number three is knees to chest. Arch your back so that you get the hip drive. And step number four is kick and press. So if you coordinate those, it's head, bum, knees to chest, kick and press. Head, bum, knees to chest, kick and press. Where you might find it difficult is the coordination of the kick and the press. You have to do both of those at the same time. So it's put your head on the wall, uh, sorry, head on the mat, bum on the wall, knees to your chest and you can press at the same time. Cool? Now, if you feel confident to go upside down, put an ab mat against the wall, three, two, one, kick out, have a go. The worst thing that'll happen is you'll fall off. Right, three, two, one.